So in this worked example, the reactants are solid potassium and liquid water. We write those on the left. And the products, the things we formed, are hydrogen gas and potassium hydroxide. And the interesting thing is they said this potassium hydroxide was dissolved in water. And we know from last unit that means it's aqueous. They tell us that this reaction is unbalanced. So we're going to go through and balancing it using the atom tally we learned in class. The three elements are potassium, hydrogen, and oxygen. And let's just go through and count. We have one potassium on the left and one potassium on the right. Here we have two hydrogens on the left and, be careful, three hydrogens on the right. And one oxygen on the left and one oxygen on the right. So upon inspection, you can tell that this reaction is not balanced with the hydrogens. So let's go through and balance it. We want to make the number of hydrogens on this side even, and we're going to do that by putting a 2 in front of the K. That's going to give us 2 plus 2, 4 hydrogens now on the right. In order to make the hydrogens on the left 4, we multiply this by 2, and the multiplier becomes the coefficient. Let's go through now and recount. We now have two potassiums on the left, but two on the right because of that coefficient. We'll make the potassiums on the left two by multiplying this one by two. And the multiplier becomes the coefficient. Now let's go through and count the oxygens. We have now two oxygens on the left. And because of this coefficient, we have two oxygens on the right. So this reaction is now balanced. Two potassiums, two potassiums, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, two oxygens, two oxygens.